Yeah. Go. So, hello, my name is Olof Schengren. Uh, I have done a lot of open source projects. Wait, are you giving a lightning talk? Once again? Are you giving a lightning talk? I'm giving a lightning talk, yeah. Are you on the list? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not on the list, no. <laughs> Carry on. So, a couple of years ago I created Serve, which is the world's smallest with 5 CPU. And then when you have the world's smallest with 5 CPU, you probably want to want something to do with it. So, I thought up a great idea. I heat tree in this uh, sensor uh, aggregation system, where you had like, you could have one CPU connected to each sensor, and then you could have all this information collected, and then just have a big max that you can send messages and stuff like that. Problem was, that I didn't have that many sensors, I had like three sensors. Uh, and I realized I could fit a lot more uh, server cores into that FPGA. So I thought, screw this, I'm just going to see how many uh, cores I can fit into uh, my FPGA instead. So I have uh, each CPU printing out a unique message, and then a big ass uh, multiplexer, and then just send out on the screen. Um, and that kind of things went out of control. Uh, so I started CoreScore. Uh, which is a project to calculate how many five cores or how many server cores you can fit into different FPGAs. So here's the whole high score table at corescore.store. Uh, you can see in the bottom here we have like smaller i40 FPGAs, some mid-range uh, SI clone stuff. Uh, on the high end we have 10,000 RIS5 cores uh, on a larger AMD board. This one was on Tom's hardware, that was pretty cool uh, when that happened. Uh, so if you know anything about routing, you would realize that the 10,000 uh, input max is terrible to uh, <laughs> root. So I thought I should make a ring bus. Oh, it's, it's almost a ring bus. So I call this a circle. Uh, so I made a very, very t small ring bus instead. Uh, that's much quicker to uh, place a root. So this is in, um, will be an upcoming version. I can fit even more cores into different FPGAs. So uh, thank you.